Hi, today I will show you how to dual boot Tiny 11 and Windows 10. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel to watch our next videos. To download the ISO image of Tiny 11, Google search Tiny 11. Then go to the archive.org website and search for the Tiny 11 NTDEV project. On this page, you will see a short description of the Tiny 11 23H2. Tiny 11 is not an official version of Windows. It has all the qualities of Windows 11 but does not receive automatic security updates. Tiny 11 is a minimized version that takes up much less space on your hard drive and is suitable for computers that do not meet the requirements of Windows 11 Secure Boot and TPM2 or older computers. Select the image you want and download it. Okay, our download has started. Meanwhile, we will look for a Windows 10 ISO image on the Microsoft official site. When you log into the Microsoft site, it automatically recognizes which operating system your computer has. Therefore, if you are using a Windows operating system, you do not have the option to directly download an ISO image. You can do it by clicking the button to download the tool, which is actually a media creation tool. Today I am going to show you another way to download the image without the help of the media creation tool. Go to your browser settings and look for more tools and developer tools. Through the window that now opens, developers test their programs and codes for different types of devices on which they will be used, so when we set a device other than Microsoft and Windows devices, the browser cannot recognize now, for our operating system, just select some of the devices and then reload the page. Okay, now we can select the Windows 10 ISO image. Select the Windows 10 version, then select the language in which this ISO image will be, and finally, press the button for the 32-bit or 64-bit version that your computer has. Okay, the Windows 10 download and image have started. It will take time to download both of her images. After the download is complete, open the location of the ISO images, copy them both. Then go to File Explorer and open the Ventoe tool disk. Put the images here. Wait for the copying to complete. If you don't know how to make a Ventoe Tool Multiboot USB Drive, you can watch my video, How to Make Bootable USB. Okay, it's done, now unmount the USB drive and restart the computer. After the reboot, launch the boot menu on your computer. If you do not know how, check the documentation of the manufacturer of your computer to see which button is responsible for activating the boot menu. In the boot menu, select your USB and press enter. Ok, now you choose which ISO image to install first. I will choose this on Windows 10. Select and then press enter. Confirm again, and wait for the installer to load.
OK now select the language in which you will do the installation, and then continue with next and install now. Enter your product key. If you don't have one, just press I don't have a product key. Choose the version of Windows you need to install. I will choose Windows Pro because of my license for it. Now select Custom Install Windows Only. Here, we have to choose where to install Windows. I will remove all the old partitions and make two new ones, on which I will install Tiny 11 and Windows 10. Now I will separate the disk into two equal parts. Windows automatically created the partitions I needed for the installation. Here, we select Disk 3 and continue with the next. It takes about 5 to 10 minutes for the installation, which will restart automatically several times, so just be patient. Windows 10 version 22H2 is the final version of Windows 10, which was released in October 2022. It is also known as the Windows 10 2022 update. It will reach the end of support on October 14, 2025, and will not receive any feature upgrades after that date. Windows 10 version 22H2 introduced some minor improvements and fixes, such as a new start menu design that matches Windows 11. Taskbar widget that shows news and weather information. A new settings app that replaces the old control panel. Microsoft Edge browser that is based on Chromium. Windows subsystem for Linux that supports graphical applications. Windows Terminal that supports multiple tabs and profiles. Your phone app that lets you access your Android phone from your PC. Windows Sandbox lets you run untrusted applications in a virtual environment. Windows Security app that integrates antivirus, firewall, and ransomware protection. The Windows Update app lets you choose when to install updates and pause them if needed. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel to watch our next videos. OK, let's finish the Windows 10 installation. First, select your region. Then select the keyboard you will work on. If you don't have an internet connection, you can only make a local account, that's not a problem, you can enter your Microsoft account after the installation is complete. Enter your account name. You can now enter your password. If you don't want to have a password every time you log into Windows, just leave the field blank and click Next. Now select which of the personal setting options to keep and which not, then proceed with accepting. Now we'll just wait for the Windows 10 start screen to load. Great! Windows 10 is here.
OK, it's time to install Tiny11. Restart the computer. Repeat the steps to load the ISO file via the Ventoe tool. Wait for the installer to load. Now select the region and keyboard you will use. Here, select the empty space we left when installing Windows 10. You don't need to format the empty space, just select it, and Windows will do the rest. Then press Next. The installation will begin. It can be said that both installations are done in the same way, the only difference is the design of the installers. When you install two or more Windows operating systems at boot, the Windows boot menu appears. Here, you can choose which operating system to boot every time you restart your computer. Choose Windows 11, which is actually Tiny11. OK, now let's finish the settings. Select country and region. Then your keyboard again. If you don't have internet again, create a local account. Type your username. Now enter a password or continue without one. Great, now we have Tiny11 on our computer. You can see the two local. On drive C is Tiny11, and on drive D is installed Windows 10. If you load Windows 10, this will change, and Windows 10 will be on disk C and Tiny11 on disk D.
Now I'll show you how you can set which of the two operating systems to boot automatically without having to choose. Right click on the start menu and select run. In the run field, Titans config and then press OK or enter. Now go to the boot tab. Here, you can see both operating systems we have installed. Tiny11 is currently our default operating system. We can change this and leave it at that. Here, we can also change the bootloader timeout. Make your necessary changes, and then press apply, then OK. Restart your computer for your changes to take effect. Congratulations! You have dual booted Tiny11 and Windows 10 and enjoy both operating systems. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel to watch our next videos. Thanks for watching. Take care.